good everyone my name is graphics in this tutorial we are told to analyze the question on the cam and the question goes like this it says a plate cam rotating clockwise is to give an inline point follower the following motion 0 to 120 degree lift that two millimeter uniform velocity 120 degree to 180 degree dwell 180 degree to 360 degree for 32 millimeter with simple harmonic motion draw the cam profile if the minimum cam radius is 38 millimeter and the cam shaft diameter is 32 millimeter now the first thing you have to do you need to tab put this in tabular form right and the first thing you have to do here is to draw the cam shaft diameter. Now, I will first of all draw a line this way, in this manner, my horizontal line this way. You can see that? And also my vertical line this way. So at this point where they meet, that will be the center of the cam. And we are told that the cam shaft diameter is 24, meaning that the cam radius is what? 12. So I'm going to measure 12 on my meter rule. From here to here, this is 10, 11, 12. And I'll place it at this center here where the two lines intersect. And I'm going to draw a line as in a circle and I'm going to take in that circle that circle is representing my what my cam shaft right now the next thing we need to draw we're told that the cam profile and the minimum cam radius is what 38 right so the cam radius the minimum cam radius is the metal sheet that is surrounding the cam right so I'm going to measure 38 from here is 38 at this point here and I am going to place it at this point here where I'm going to draw a circle but this time the circle will be what faint that is the second thing we're doing now the third thing that we're doing here is to draw the lift we are told that um, before the lift we are told that the cam direction is what? The cam is rotating clockwise, right? So this cam is moving in this direction. Cam is moving in this direction clockwise. Then the next thing we are going to do is the cam what? The lift says it lift it lifts with what? 32 millimeter. So that means I'll measure the lift from on top of the minimum cam radius. So I'll measure to the two at this point. To this point here is what? It's 32. You can see that? And I'm going to place my compass, take it to that point. You can see where I'm going to draw a circle. But well, the circle will be this way. You can see that? Now the next thing I am going to do here is that we are not told that um, if the cam, the follower will be, the, the cam is moving in this direction, then the follower is the outermost circle. So if cam is going clockwise, the follower will be going at the clockwise. So my follower will be here at this point, and that will be anti-clockwise at this point here. Without going that direction, right? So the next thing I'm going to do is to divide the circle into 12. Divide it into 12. If you like, you can divide it into 24, but the minimum, what you should divide it with, should just be into 12. So I would like to divide it into 12. I'm going to place my compass this way, right? With this radius. 
and I'm going to place it here. I will strike an arc up. I'll come here also. I'll strike another arc up. I'll place it here. I'll strike left and what and right. Now all those points will be rejected through the center. I will draw this line through the center. This is coming here. I'm going to stop here and I'll continue from here. You can see that. I'll come again. This will come again from this point. Stop here. Continue from here. Then the next one. This on this point. Stop here. Continue from here. Then this on this point. Stop here. Continue from here. This is what I have. So since it's going clockwise, this will now give me the zero degree, thirty degree, sixty degree, one twenty, one fifty, one one twenty, one fifty. This is zero thirty, sixty. This will be ninety. Sorry. This will be one twenty. It will be 150, 180, 210, 240, 270, 300, 330, and what? 360. Right? So this is what we have here. Because I divide into 12, that is why I use 30 degree each. If I divide into 24, I'll be using 15 degree each. Is that taking? So depending on how you divide your circle. Now the next thing I'm going to do is we have been given all this motion and we are told to draw our CAM profile. So the CAM profile will be situated at this point here. I can decide to draw it at this point here. Is that the key? So let's do that and see. So let me draw it at this point here. From here, I'm going to draw a straight line this way. Is that again? And on that line, I'm going to draw a perpendicular line from that point. Any point away from the circle, but not touching the circle. You can see that? So here will be my zero degree. So the scale I'll be using will be one centimeter to represent 30 degree. Now if I use it this way, I will move to 12. You can see that? So let's move. This is zero. This. Each of them will move to 12. You can see that now the next thing is the distance from here to here distance from here to here and the lift here is given to be 32 so meaning that the radius of that 32 will be what will be 16 so i'm going to measure 16 from here to here to 16 here All right and i'm going to place it at this point i'll mark here place it here also i'll mark here so that will be the height of that will be the height that we have there. So I'll move this to that point. Then this also, I'll move you to this point. Then each of those points, I'm going to draw this line from this point.
right? So it means that um, this is zero degree. This is thirty. This is sixty. This is ninety. One twenty. One fifty. One eighty. Two ten. Two forty. Two seventy. Three hundred. Three thirty. What? Three sixty. So the points that we actually have there, right? So we we'll move forward. So the point that we actually have there. So now the next thing we're going to do is this. From the question that we have here, we are told that um, from zero to one hundred twenty degree, it is lift. 32 millimeter uniform acceleration, right? So this is from 0 to 120, the highest point. You see, 32 millimeter lift. So it increases to the highest point because the highest point is 32. So it increases, so it will be stopping here, 0 to 120. But the key word here now, we are told it is what? Uniform acceleration. And in CAM, uniform acceleration is joined with a straight line. You just use a straight line and connect it this way because it is what? Uniform acceleration. Is that okay? Now the next thing is we are told that 120 to 180 is dwell. So it comes to rest between the range of what 120 to what 180. So I'm going to draw a straight line here. It is constant. Right? Now the next thing is we are not told that um 180 to 360 it falls. 32 millimeter with simple harmonic motion. So from here, it falls straight down to the lowest point. And it has what? The lowest point is 32, which is from here to here, and at the angle of what? 360. So it will stop here. Now you will not have stop here this way. Why? Because we are told this is what? Uniform acceleration. Is that the key? So if I should bring this down a little bit. Right, I will not take my compass. This is how you, since we are told uniform acceleration, this is what you do. I mean, uniform and simple harmonic motion. You place it at this point here, you take it to this point here, and you draw a semicircle. Right, that semicircle, you, you count this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you divide it into six. So place your compass here with the same radius, you cut up. You cut down you place it at this point here 360 you cut here and you place it at the top here and you also cut here and when you do that you will now take your rule and connect those points to the center here so if i do that from here to here so we have from here to here this is what we have from here to here this is what we have from here to here, this is what we have here, right? So we've done that now, we get them towards the center. So, for those points, you move it from here to here. You see this point? On to the next one. Come to the next one. Come to the next one. Now, after you've done that, then you start. This is the highest point. You start going to the next one, next line. This first point, first line, second point, second line, third point, third line, fourth point, fourth line, fifth point, fifth line. 6.6 .6 line then the seven point here that is where you will now use your french curve and connect each of those points together this way so if i do that i'll be having this this way now we're having this this way
that's what we have there right so this is a profile um, diagram now let's now move further a little bit what about the movements of the what of the follower now we're told the follower is what is um is an inline point inline point and they are saying your knife edge so what i'm going to do is i'll draw my knife edge here i'll just come here i'll draw a line this way and i can easily take my 60 degree or 45 degree any of them move it to the end of this point here i'll do this i'll turn the other way around too i'll do the same thing too and i'll move it up then i'll close it so this is all we have now let's start let's draw the follower movement so from here this is zero this is point zero then 30 i'll come to the line of 30 place it on the minimum cam radius and i'll mark i'll go to 60 i'll come to 60 i'll do the same thing i'll go to 90 i'll come to 90 i'll do the same thing i'll go to 120 i'll come to 120 here i'll do the same thing all right this is 120 touching this side here because it's 120 150 and 180 on the same point so i'll just move from here so wasting my time i'll taking it 120 to this point they are taking they are what they are dwelling so they are resting on the highest point which is here now the next thing is um, 210 from here to 210 come here and you mark the next thing is 240 place on 240 you mark here you mark you come to 270 you mark here you come here you also mark 300 you place it here you come here you mark then back to what 360 which is zero so you just take your fresh curve and you connect those points together please you take three or more points together so i can take this and take this to this let me see Let's take this. Better. Do the same thing here. Here too. Then we win this. what we have so that is what we have there that is the movement of the follower 
and you should not always forget to draw out your table so i'll just put the table out here to make the drawing complete so this is how you're going to table it write out the parameters put in the tabular form that tracks mark and this is the displacement of the follower and this is the profile diagram so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button